Oncology remains the biggest therapeutic area within the healthcare space. And of course, better treatments are important, but also better diagnosis is very important. So we see that the diagnosis market for cancer is about to grow double digit every year until 2026. That is also the case for the cancer profiling market that benefits from the fact that there is a higher demand for personalized treatments. In the end, better research, better treatments, better technology will hopefully make cancer a curable disease. Well, at first we see that the normalization of inflation and a cooling down of the economy results in a favorable setup for both healthcare and biotechnology companies. Investors' focus will shift from macroeconomics and geopolitical uncertainties to individual stock selection. And for this, we'll lean on a team that has both a medical and financial expertise. In addition to those companies, we also see opportunities in, for instance, companies that have been sold off last year during the market corrections. For instance, smaller biotechnology companies that can also gain interest from larger pharmaceutical companies that want to fill up their pipelines, medical technology companies, or even innovative healthcare equipment makers.